Hello, I'm going to talk about the Rod and Staff Arithmetic Grade 1 and how it's going with my five-year-old. We've been doing school for, uh, we're in our third week for this school year of 2023-2024. I really like Rod and Staff, um, how they teach how to write the numbers. And uh, I wanted to go over that because they have little jingles that go with um, how to make the numbers. So this is a teacher's manual over here. Um, I don't do everything that's scripted in the teacher's manual. Um, I do most of it. And I do the thing where it says, you know, it says to count. Um, we're counting to 100. I use a little card like this that came in some flashcards I got. So we count to 100 every morning together with this flashcard. And uh, that's something that's mentioned in the scripted part where you're supposed to be counting and learning soon how to count by tens and, and things like that. But uh, let me go over the how they, for, at, in the beginning, <laughs> in the beginning it says that. Uh, in the beginning, they start off with zero, and then writing zero, where there's, you know, calcium dots and write zero. Uh, I don't remember the little jingle for zero. But one, it says, um, straight down, one. And let me go to a page where it has all the numbers up to ten. Uh, they also have little Bible stories that, in the teacher's manual, it talks about. So, on number seven, um... It had a little story, and, and very short. Like, this is not, a whole lesson is not about the story. But it just gives a few sentences. It said, in the Bible, there was a tabernacle, and the lamp in the tabernacle had seven candlesticks. And then you learn how to write seven. Across the sky, down from heaven. That's how you make a number seven. Um, so it had something like that for... Um, one day when we counted to a hundred, it said, how many sheep? There was a shepherd that had a hundred sheep and, he, but one was missing. So how many did he have? And we counted up to 99 and then a hundred. Um, this is number six and it has a sentence, a couple sentences in the teacher's manual about the water pots. Jesus told them to fill up the six water pots and the water was turned, changed, turned into wine. That was a miracle. And so the night it's nice that the focus they keep the focus on mm, the Bible and we can learn we can learn these numbers are important and they're important to God too and it's important that we apply ourselves in these areas. Okay, here here's a number line. So I'm going to go through this is how they teach you to uh, write the numbers. Straight down one two is around and back down the railroad track two 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 i love that one i have more fun with this than my five-year-old does i'll do start doing it. he's like can i just write them without you saying that he's like you can do it on this row because i'll go through these and so number three is over the tree under the tree number four is down and over then down some more that's how you write a number four five is down the trunk, around the tree. Add a branch. It's a five, you see. Six is, number six can roll a loop. No, no, no. It goes curving down into a loop. Number six can roll a hoop. Number seven is across the sky, down from heaven. That's how you make a number seven. Number eight is make an S, but do not wait. Climb back up to make an eight. This is harder to do than just doing two circles. So I'd still say the rhyme because it can get into his mind what number he's, it, he's supposed to be drawing because it gives him a mental picture. But he does circle, circle. This is how I learned how to do a number eight. And it's easier for him than trying to do the, the S and then cross it, come back up. It's easier for him to do the circle. But I still say the little rhyme. Make an S, but do not wait to climb back up to make an eight. Number nine is 
um, a bubble on top and then a line. That's how we make a number nine. It actually says, I think it says a loop on top and then a line, but my five-year-old said he liked me to say bubble better. So I say that a bubble on top and then a line. That's how you make a number nine. And 10 is, um, in the lesson where they introduced 10, it talked about how 10 is a group and we've been counting to 100 and you, how many, how many numbers are in the twenties? 10. How many numbers are in the thirties? 10. How many numbers are in the forties? 10, et cetera. We just talked about that in this lesson and number 10 to write a number 10, you want to say one group and nothing more. The one is for the one, one group. And then the zero is for the part where you say nothing more. One group and nothing more. That's 10. Okay, that's all for today's video.